What's good everybody? My name is Valor and welcome back to the Armory. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I am not the biggest fan of gel blasters. They are pretty much all the same. They're basically a worse version of Airsoft. And I've generally ignored the dozens and dozens of offers I've been given to my business email. And I'll only ever respond if the blaster itself is compelling or exceptional, just like this. This is the Cosmo X Toys Sirius. It is a space blastery sort of fun style of blaster. Like it's not trying to emulate any sort of real tactical rifle or anything. It's not gonna, it is very much not, you know, a real steel looking thing, unlike the ARP-9 I looked at a while back. But just look at this thing. This just screams toy. And that is the main reason I wanted to take a look at it. Because other than that, it is just your standard sort of gel blaster that will hit over 200 FPS. And inside the box is everything you need to get started. You've got the blaster, you've got the stock, you've got the drum, you've got eye protection, which is very important with blasters of this sort of caliber and everything. You don't want these hitting you in the eye. You also have the rechargeable battery, a USB charger for said battery, and plenty of rounds to actually fuel this thing. But yeah, like this thing, even though it has rails and attachments, it is not actual Picatinny. It is very similar in shape to Picatinny, but it's about 150% wider than it needs to be. And I think that was mainly to do with little kids grabbing whatever airsoft or real steel accessory from like dad's closet or whatever and throwing it on here and possibly getting shot by the police. And you know, the further away from real steel and everything we can get toys, the better, in my opinion. But even as I say that, this blaster is not alienating to an adult-sized person. I'm, you know, six feet tall, decent wingspan, and this blaster is decently comfortable. The stock's the right length for me, the grip's nice and big, though the grip on the back here is a bit flared outward when you'd want it to be kind of pinched in. Uh, if you're someone like me who likes to choke up on your grip, this will be uncomfortable, but if you just have a lower sort of angled grip like this, you'll be just fine. The vertical foregrip is nice and steady, and the drum has a magazine release lever that you hit with your middle finger, and I'm not sure how many rounds this thing is set to hold, but it holds a butt ton, so you're not gonna be, you know, needing to refill in the middle of a match, because if you do, something is horribly, horribly wrong. To empty this drum out, I was sitting there for at least a few minutes just firing away. I was afraid the motor was gonna burn out or something, but luckily it did not, so that is good for the durability. And again, I love the use of translucent purple plastic with glitter in it, as well as this nice bright toyetic, you know, yellow. This blaster is actually really good if you're a Lakers fan in this color scheme, but they also have this in another color scheme in green and blue with this same kind of very, very slightly gray white. It's actually the same color of uh, white that's on my Frankenlinks up there. But yeah, the green and blue version of the blaster really looks like Buzz Lightyear. To access the battery, you do not need any screwdriver at all it is just a spring-loaded little clip on the side and you can fit your I think it's a double 18650 uh, cell in here and it seems to work just fine I have not run it down yet after a full charge and overall this is a very fun blaster for what it is again it's a gel blaster so it's not the most accurate but you know you can get accuracy by volume of fire which is kind of how these gel blasters work anyway and i think anybody could have fun you know if they are you know into shooting sports or not but that's my two cents on the blaster let me know what you think down in the comments below and uh stay tuned if you are into gel blasters because cosmo x toys has another blaster in the line coming up that i'm very excited about because of one simple feature so get hyped for that video and stay tuned. Big thanks to the patrons who are scrolling on the screen right now. Starting $1 a month, you can get access to a Patreon-only Discord server, get access to files and stuff I've made, get more direct contact with me, and get sneak peeks at what is coming up next. And if you are not subscribed, you might want to get subscribed because I've got some big sort of news coming up soon, and I am very excited to share it with you all. As that reminds Valor, thanks for watching.